Hey guys, this is Nasamoto. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new SketchUp plugins which were included in the new Left 4 Dead authoring tools that uh, Valve released just a few weeks ago. Um, you'll have a free copy of these in your Tools tab on Steam if you own a copy of Left 4 Dead. If you don't, uh, you'll just have the regular SDK. So the first thing you want to do is open up Steam and head to your Tools tab and just double click on Left 4 Dead Authoring Tools and you'll see a window that comes up which looks a lot like the Source SDK window but it's a bit different, it's got some other stuff in here, there's a new version of Hammer Editor and uh, a version of Left 4 Dead with some cool tools in it like a, a Particle Editor and Commentary Editor but what we're interested in in this particular video is the SketchUp plugins at the bottom here and we double click on that and it, it'll just lead us to uh, the Source SDK directory and there's a folder here called Plugins, and a subfolder called SketchUp, and there's a bunch of files here that we need to copy to our, our SketchUp folder. So what you want to do is you want to go to your program files uh, and look for SketchUp. So I'm going to go program files, probably Google, SketchUp 7, I've got both versions, 6 and 7, don't know why, and just head on to Plugins, and in this Plugins folder you want to copy everything that's in here, over into the plugins folder. Okay. Now as soon as that's done, you can open up SketchUp. I'll just close this window. Before you actually start using SketchUp, there's a few things that you should be aware of. And the first is that if you live in a country that uses the metric system, like I do, you're going to want to make sure that you change back over to Imperial in the SketchUp preferences because um, Source Engine and Hammer Editor both base their unit of measurement on the Imperial system, on inches, one inch per unit and vice versa. So if you're using centimeters or meters or, or whatever in SketchUp, you're going to find that you're going to get a really weird sort of conversion when you export into either SMD or VMF. So the first thing you want to do is go up to Window, Model Info, go down to the bottom here where it says Units, and you want to make sure you're using Decimal Inches and you want to change your precision to zero because we want to snap onto each inch. We don't want six and a half inches or six and point two five eight inches because we don't want fractions of units because that's not really a good idea in terms of source mapping or, or BSP mapping in general. So decimal inches, precision of zero, no decimal place. Close that. Now you can pick any one of these tools, probably best to use the line tool or the rectangle tool. Just make a big rectangle. And using the push tool, I can extrude it down. I'm going to bring it down 8 inches, which will make it 8 units in depth. And when you have a piece of geometry, in order for the plugin to actually know which pieces of geometry to make into individual brushes, you actually have to tell it by turning them into groups in SketchUp. So this one block is going to be a brush. So we can select the whole block first, and there's two main ways to do that. One is uh, dragging a rectangle around it, and the other is uh, triple clicking on any face. And once you've selected the entire block, just go Edit, Make Group. So now we have a group, and that's going to tell the plugin that that group is one brush. If you need to edit a uh, group after you've already made it, just double click on it, do whatever it is you need to do, and then click outside again. Now we can keep doing that, we can make another one, make another rectangle, we'll turn this one into a wall, I suppose. Bring it up about 128, because that's pretty much the standard wall height in source. Once again, select the whole thing, go edit, make groups. So these will be two brushes and you can see that that's two different groups there. If we hadn't turned these into groups before exporting, we'd get an error from the plugin. Um, so let's make another wall over here. Keep doing this all day if you want to. I find that SketchUp's a lot more of a fluid sort of experience than Hammer is because you can literally draw the geometry, especially if you have a graphics tablet, it makes things a lot easier. Um, the problem is that it isn't very good at a lot of the other things that Hammer does, like uh, you know texturing. 
that sort of thing. Um, so you might want to use it for just drawing your basic geometry and then cleaning it up in Hammer. So now I have a basic sort of, well, not even a full map, just a basic couple of brushes. You can see there's three groups here, which have become three brushes, a, a floor and two walls. We go up here to Plugins, click Export VMF, and you can save it anywhere. Um, it's important to type .vmf after your file name, so I call this map1.vmf because for some reason the plugin doesn't append that that uh, extension at the end if you don't type it in. You have to type it in yourself, otherwise Hammer won't find it. So click save, go back to Steam, open the source SDK. This plugin works for any kind of VMF file because it's just basic VMF geometry. So it's not just for Left 4 Dead, you can use it for Source, Counter-Strike Source, any Source game. Uh, so let's say we want to make a CSS map. Uh, open Hammer Editor. Once Hammer's open, go go to wherever it is you saved your file. I saved mine on the desktop. And open it. And you'll see that uh, our geometry loads, and you'll also see that SketchUp introduces a few entities that we didn't actually put in there ourselves, and that's a light environment, an environment sun, and an info player start. You can delete those if you like, and you can also see it uses that weird texture. You can change the default texture of the plugin to any other texture. So, for instance, if I wanted to use no draw instead of whatever that texture is, I'm not sure what it is, gray grid. And if we want to change that texture, we basically uh, open Notepad. You'll have to open it as an administrator if you're on Vista and you have UAC on, because we're at because we're editing a uh, uh, a file that's in the Program Files directory. So here's our our SketchUp plugins um, folder, and the file we want to Edit is Valve SketchUp Tools Config. Let's go down here. You'll see there's a little variable called VVMF Default Material. Right now it's dev forward slash gray grid. We'll change it to tools forward slash tools no draw. Go file save. And we'll close this. Go back to SketchUp. Go plugins. Export VMF. At one dot VMF. And you can see now now it's using no draw as the default texture. One last thing guys, uh just be aware when you're using SketchUp and you're making your brushes, uh you can't have concave brushes because the BSP format just doesn't support them. Um, if you don't know what I mean by concave, look it up on the developer wiki. There's a page that explains all about it. Uh, if you guys have any feedback, questions, uh, comments, suggestions, criticisms, whatever, for the SketchUp tools, they're pretty new. Valve's looking for feedback. Send them an email. Send them an email at sketchuptools at valvesoftware.com. If you want to throw some feedback my way, that's cool too. I don't really care. Uh, you can leave a comment on this video or on my website, or you can send me an email. Uh, see you guys later.